with people on board today. I just T minus two minutes. There we go. It's just retracting. The bridge is retracting. There's Oliver on the left, Jeff Bezos on the right. We are about to go to space, everybody. We are in auto sequence. Ariane, when that engine gimbal check occurs and that engine swings, they should actually be able to feel it uh, in the cabin because it'll sway the stack back and forth. There go the aft fin checks. There you see the engine gimbal check just peeking out at the base of the rocket. All right, here we go, everybody. Thousands of people contributed years to this historic moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for Blue Origin's first human flight, Godspeed, first crew of New Shepard. Let's light this candle. T minus 16, guidance internal. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, command engine start, 2, 1. Ignition. We have left off. Shepard cleared the tower. <laughs> and New Shepard has cleared the tower on our way to space with our first human crew. Go, Jeff, go, Mark, go, Wally, go, Oliver. You are going to space. Liquid hydrogen and uh, liquid oxygen as the propellant. It's a nice, not just clean in terms of uh, beautifully performing, but what comes out of it, it's steam, right? Whew. To see the, to see the, 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 the glow of the, of the engine underneath the rocket just under our shoulders and to know that we've got a crew that is going to space. It, it, it just feels different, doesn't it, Gary? It is totally different. <laughs> All right, you can follow along, of course, the speedometer in the bottom left, the altimeter in the uh, middle of the screen there. So far appears to be a nominal flight. All right, coming up here on Miko, main engine cutoff. That will be followed shortly by separation. And at that point, after separation, we're gonna uh, let the, the astronauts unbuckle and take in the freedoms of zero G. There is Miko, main engine cutoff. A beautiful shot down the New Shepard rocket. Look at that view. Unreal. Awaiting separation here.
And here we are. You can start to see. Stand by. You're going to see the separation of the capsule from the booster itself. And there we go. Our astronauts have passed the Kármán line at about 328,000 feet, continuing their ascent. You see the two vehicles there. When the speed hits zero, you know that they've oh, hit yeah. Hapagee, their maximum Woo altitude, and you hear they're having <laughs> quite an experience. Okay, how about talk back? Woo-hoo! 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 Woo-ho
And there it is, our crew capsule with our four, our four crew members on board. You have a very happy crew up here, I want you to know. Stand by drogues. Stand by drogues. Stand by main. Stand by main. Oh, so far a nominal flight. Here comes the crew capsule back from space. The drogues deployed. Here are the mains out, reefing and coming to full inflation our, our rocket went over Mach 3 and now they're coming floating back down at just about 15 or 16 miles an hour about to join us home back here in West Texas after having gone over the Carmen line the internationally recognized line of space the world's newest astronauts Gary how are you holding up friend <laughs> I am I am speechless Wow. And those big, beautiful windows. I've just got about a minute and a half of floating before uh, the activation of the skirt jet to, uh, for, a, for, for a soft touchdown. At this point, um, there are sensors on board that are detecting how high they are above the ground, multiple sensors. And just six feet above the ground, that, that cushion of air will, will puff and they will have a soft touchdown, almost like just sitting in a chair. But I'm sure their adrenaline is pumping. And touchdown. Welcome back, New Shepherd's first human crew. What? What a Welcome flight. Welcome back to Earth, first step. Congratulations to all of you. Oh, what a day, what a day. Woo! <laughs> 